Can you guess what I lust after? In this broken world, what is left to want? Power. Hmm. I always thought you were the smart one. Pity. To what do I owe this distinct pleasure? After all, to be visited by a fabled horseman. I have but one purpose here. Uh, must we engage in violence? You already have my respect. I have no interest in your respect, just your head! Come now, Fury. I am no barbarian like the others. No, we need not meet as enemies a second time. Tell it to the Charred Council. <laughs> they aren't here. So instead, I tell you, Queen of the Horsemen, powerful, armed with the flame hollow, a crossblade, your fabled whip. I am above your distractions, lust. <laughs> really? The truth is often distracting when one lives a lie. You speak as though we are natural enemies. Why must this be so? I know my role in the universe. I wonder if you've ever stopped to question yours. You are a horseman. Mm. But why did you make that choice? And if so, was there some reasoning behind it? Shut up and fight! You don't even know why you fight, do you? Hmm. Do you fight for your brothers? Oh, of course not. Your antagonism towards them is well known. Do you seek to achieve some sort of balance? Oh, you never believed in the greater good until it suited you. No, no, no. What I see in your actions is a lust all your own. A lust for power and privilege and protection from the Nephilim's inevitable fall. Ultimately, that makes us allies, doesn't it? Stand down, Fury. Death. What are you, all of you, doing here? Are we not four horsemen united? We are here to confirm that the mission is complete. Mm. The mission? The other sins have been destroyed by my hand. Death worked to free war and clear his name. More importantly, we have exposed a great conspiracy. What conspiracy? Heaven and Hell working in secret consort. To bring about the Apocalypse earlier than anyone would wish for. The Charred Council has dispatched us. Together. To wreak havoc on both sides. Balance will be restored. The wicked will be punished. You mean... All of this? We are to unseat the rulers of both sides. And in honor of your unwavering loyalty to the cause, the Council has decreed that you will lead the Horsemen. You, Fury, will usher in a new age on Earth. Of course. Finally, everything makes some sort of divine sense. It does? Mistress, is this not everything you wanted? Finally come to you. Set aside the past, sister. Today, we live in service to you. I will be done. This is not real! What? Oh. It was worth a shot. You think you know me so well? Is it not what you want most? Hmm? The power to lead in the manner you see fit. What was an illusion could soon be reality. 
If you set aside the wants of others and focus on yourself, ultimately, it is your choice to make. So choose. You should not have made them kneel! This is a one-time, terribly generous offer, Fury. Why do you take it? Why would he do that, when he knows a deal with you isn't half as appealing as a deal with me? Don't listen! I can return your sweet little angels to their former glory. Yes, if you just protect me from this terrible woman. Usil! And won't it be glorious when you march back to the gates of heaven with your numbers restored? And restore truth <laughs> to that befouled place. Your truth, Archangel, you see. Your command. Wouldn't that be lovely? The Seventh Legion. Alive and whole. Restoring glory. Our deal is revoked. No, Usil! <laughs> Won't this be fun? To raise the dead. <laughs> the one constant in the universe. Those who possess the most power inevitably crave more. Lust is everlasting. As for who? Know this. I was merely a pawn. A feeling you know all too well. Fury. The angels who killed your steel. Pawns as well. Then who? Tell me! <laughs> the players in that game will reveal themselves in time. What if I reveal something even more valuable? Hmm? Spare me. 
And I'll give up the location of my fellow sin. Envy. And why would you do that? What reason would I have to protect that sniveling coward? Hmm? She has never experienced frontline combat. She has never experienced the horrors of war. She is the most pathetic of us. Get me to the edge of Haven, and what you want will be yours. An attractive offer. Huh? But I'm tired of your kind underestimating my intelligence. I'll find the rest of the sins by myself. At your core, you were just an endless void that could never be filled. How disappointing. Lust's call to power is intoxicating. Even more so when one is fueled by grief. Lucille's transgression can be forgiven. Once. I have a better understanding of what's happened to the Earth and what's at stake because of it. You're of no use to me, dead. If we are to survive, all of us, alliances must be made. An alliance? With him? I... don't know what to say. Say that you'll return the favor. I may soon need it. My word may hold no weight, but my life is yours, Fury. If I learn of any plotting against you, I will relay the information. Did I just witness mercy? Shown to a filthy angel. Just as soon have your head on a pike. Are you or are you not a watcher? Because you should know better. This quest we're on is about balance in the world and within me, it seems. Lust showed me what I could become. It is not what I want to be. And what do you want to be? <sighs> I think that's what I'm here to find out. You show more death. What do you want? Both you and I are painfully aware of the endless parade history inflicts upon us. Creatures so pathetically focused on one single purpose. But these creatures are, ironically, completely devoid of meaning. Make your point, Lord of Hollows. It's just surprising. No. Refreshing to see something headed in the opposite direction. You are coming into a greater awareness of the flaws that kept you in chains. Flaws? Shall I list them? No, thank you. I've seen enough recently to know they are many. Which is exactly why I give you this. And by holding the raw power of force itself is you. It vibrates in my hand. I don't understand. <laughs> when the time comes, you will know when and how to use it. No, not yet! 